Generating a random number in C Sharp is incredibly easy. We just use the built-in random class. You can see it here, new random, as simple as that. Do note, however, that random is a pseudo random number generator, which means that if you give it the same seed, you'll get exactly the same sequence of numbers. However, if you provide it with no parameter, it will just use the system clock to give a kind of seeded value that gives a uh, reasonable approximation to genuinely random numbers. So how does it work? To generate an integer, just call next, and the number will be between zero and the maximum allowed for an integer, int dot max value. So greater than or equal to zero, less than, but not equal to max value. If you want to provide a lower limit, then just provide a single parameter, in this case, 1024. So this will give us a value greater than or equal to 1024, but less than max value, which is something like 2.4 billion, so plenty high enough. But you probably want to provide both parameters, a minimum, in this case one, and a maximum. So if we wanted to simulate a dice roll, then we want it to be greater than or equal to one, but less than seven. And this will give us a, numbers, a number from one to six. But it's not just integers, you can also look at longs, which are even greater ranged values. And it has the same format, no parameter, a lower limit, or a lower and upper limit. You can work with floating point values. You can ask for a single or a double floating point value, although you cannot specify a range. It's just going to work across the entire range by default. And a couple of other options, which are probably not obvious, but actually quite handy. You can provide a array. In this case, we can see we've created an array of eight bytes. And we provide that, and it will fill in all eight bytes with random byte values. Pretty handy if you have a block of memory and you want to random it out. And then a more modern iteration of that is you can create a span. A span gives you a sub-range of a byte array. And then you can ask for that to be uh, ran randomed out as well. That's it. That's how easy it is. Random is one of those fundamental building blocks of C Sharp. I hope you enjoy using it. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like so that others can find the same thing. And until next time, happy coding.